The Tennessee National Guard says a Black Hawk helicopter crashed right here in Harvest, Alabama, just after three this afternoon. And as you can see behind me, Highway 53 is still closed. Now, warning, the video that we are about to show you of this incident may be very difficult to watch. This is ring doorbell camera of the crash. Colonel James Reed says they were conducting a training flight. The Madison County Sheriff's Department in Alabama responded to the crash site and reported two crew members on board were killed. Those who saw the crash say it was devastating to watch. Honestly, I just prayed. Um, I was just like, there's no way I would think anybody got out of that. Um, I was panicking really even though I wasn't in it. Governor Bill Lee in a tweet says quote Maria and I are deeply saddened by the tragic loss of two Tennessee National Guard members. Please join us in lifting their families up in prayer and support during this time of unspeakable grief. Now the National Guard says no other service members or civilians were hurt during this crash which is pretty incredible because we are right next to a shopping center so a pretty high trafficked area. Now state and federal authorities are investigating this crash. The Tennessee National Guard says that Black Hawk was based right here at Nashville's Berry Field Air Base. It's the same air base that Air Force One flies into when the president comes to town. Now the guard says these men are both from Middle Tennessee and they share a combined 28 years of military experience. The guard says they are all uh, mourning this tragic loss tonight. A loving son, husband, father, and stepfather. Family of Chief Officer 3 Danny Randolph tells me they're feeling numb, still processing their loss. He's one of two Tennessee Guardsmen killed in a Black Hawk helicopter crash Wednesday afternoon. My heart is very saddened at this time, and I need everybody to pray for our family, for his wife and his kids. His mother, Pat Randolph, says Danny was a Gallatin High School graduate who lived in Murfreesboro at the time of the crash. He served in the military for 13 years, including a deployment in Afghanistan, where he worked as an air traffic controller. Pat says Danny loved serving his country. My son loved to fly. He loved the military, and he knew the danger of flying up in the air, but he died what he loved to do. The second victim identified as Chief Officer 3 Daniel Wadham. He served in the military 15 years and lived in Jolton at the time of the crash. Social media posts describe him as a devoted husband and father of two. Both the military and loved ones of the victims are asking for prayers as they process their loss.